my name is Richard Philcox and I translated Waiting for the Waters to Rise by Maris Condé in English. Uh, translating Waiting for the Waters to Rise brought back fond memories of Haiti as well as of our journey down the river Niger in Mali. Many of the places and people mentioned in the book are actual places we visited together as well as people we met. For example, I can vividly remember the boat trip on the General Sumaro from Bamako to Gao via Timbuktu, as well as the drive to Cap Haitien and Kenskov outside Port-au-Prince. Seeing the same sights as the author's eyes and familiar with the culture of Mali and Haiti made the translation less daunting in light of the ominous title. And now I would just read a short excerpt from the book in English. As a mark of disapproval, Tekla took her time before revisiting her son in a dream, and when she did appear, it was to let fly a volley of stinging barbs. And there you are, the three of you, three men, three widowers, you might say, all in mourning for their loved ones. I suggest you live together and form a colony. It would be just like you to be the spiritual head. Besides, you're the eldest. A colony, Babaka exclaimed, at a loss for words every time his mother poked fun at him. What would, we, what would we call it? The colony of the inconsolable widows, for instance, or better still, the colony of the new world. That sounds good. All three of you have different identities, an Arab, a half-Creole West African, and a Haitian. You'll have created a new humanity, a mankind without the Europeans, without the conquistadors and colonizers, without masters and slaves and the exploited. You'll be able to recreate a world that's more just. She uttered this last sentence before disappearing in a fit of laughter. <laughs>